I do this for you. All the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside. That's why I do this for you. I do this for my father, who I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. Welcome back, boys. Pepperonis here with another 2K19 tutorial video. And today, boys, we got a video on how to get Putback King Hall of Fame. So, before we get into the tutorial video, please stop the video, hit the like button, and hit that subscribe button if you ain't already subscribed. And let's try to get this video, boys, to 50 likes. Today's video is going to be a two-part video. One, going into my career to show you guys uh, the easiest way to do this in my career. And second, the easiest way to do this in the training facility. Alright, so let's start the video. Now, unlike the training facility, when you... Uh, trying to get put by King in the my career mode what you want to do is just get the rebound and then put it back up Okay, you don't have to do a put back animation where you jump in the air after the miss and you dunk it or lay it up and all in one motion a tip up or something like that you don't have to do that all you have to do is grab the rebound come back down and then put it right back up whether it's a dunk a layup or even a jumper because if you're trying to do a put back animation or a tip in you're going to be sitting there forever in my career trying to do that, okay? The NPCs in this game, they really block you out a lot, and it's going to be really hard to get that kind of momentum where you can catch that ball and put it right back up in one motion. All right, AI, let's get to work. Now, for the second part of this video, okay, when you're in a training facility, all right, the first thing you want to do is you want to pay attention to the arrows around the cone. If the arrows say go to the left, you go to the left. If the arrows say go to the right, you go to the right. If if you don't go to the right direction and you still put it back up, you do not get credit for the points, okay? So the second part of this is when the ball goes and hits the rim or right before it hits the rim, you want to make sure you're holding the trigger button and you want to hold down the X button. If you're on PlayStation, you want to hold down the square button. So my technique is as soon as the whistle blows, I hold down the trigger button. As soon as the arrow points what direction to go in, I move in that direction. And then as soon as the ball hits the rim, I hold the X button, okay? And then the animation will do it all for yourself. Whether it's going to be a layup, whether it's going to be a dunk, or whatever, okay? Now, the good thing about this is you only need to do it three times, okay? You only need to get the putback animation three times, and uh, you get ten tries. Excellent. So you only have to do it 30% of the time. So it's a very, very easy drill. And I, I know you guys will get it straight away if you pay attention and you do everything I told you in this tutorial video, guys. Now, I haven't been grinding for Putback King. Uh, I just made this video for you guys because a lot of people have been requesting how you can you get Putback King. Uh, I can't get the animation to work right in the training facility. Is it possible to do it in my career? These are all the questions people have been asking me. So I made this video special for you guys, and I hope you guys like it. And like always, guys, if you haven't seen me on GTA, if you haven't seen me on Fortnite, you haven't seen me on 2K, it's only a matter of time, boys. Peps out. Peace, love, and hair grease.